I got around my first ride over three hours since March, February time. Um, yeah, I finished. Now I've just got to try and eat as much as I can. Try and recover for the next few days. It's like, it's always for me trying to get enough food in is, is difficult. I eat and eat and eat, but my metabolism, metabolism is so quick that I just seem to eat and eat and eat and still stay at 62 kilo. I'm not complaining. That's quite a good thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I left Lincolnshire. Um, my dad went to work. I came along with him. I went for a ride around the coast, the Norfolk coast. I haven't been there for a while. Probably last year, National Champs went around the time trial course that was part of the National Champs last year. Um, didn't quite make it to the road course, which was a bit further around the coast a bit. Uh, and Stanton, which was dead quiet. Like, you see all them pictures of Everywhere being packed, the beach is being packed, but just a few a few grannies and other people out there really. Still, the worst part of the whole four hour ride was the ride home, because it just went from like hilly to pan flat, side wind, cross wind. Anyway, time trial they might be coming back next month. Road racing in Belgium starting next month. Uh, so, I can't say time trialing brings me that much joy because it's just a horrendous effort. And my dad's nicked the TT bike anyway, so I'll probably do it on a road bike, which is even more horrendous. It's weird though because I thought after I haven't done, I've done like three hour rides maximum since February. I've done a couple of double, double days on the turbo, but. It's like what Matt Heyman did at the Paris-Roubaix. He just rode for, was it two or three weeks? Purely on the turbo trainer. And he won Roubaix. So there must be something behind it. It must make you like really efficient or something. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. Because when you first start riding on the turbo trainer... You probably do an hour and a half and, you, well, well, I did. If you haven't been on it for a while, you start shaking a bit, like, your good glucose levels are really low, but I can ride on it all day now if I needed to. So, must be getting more efficient in that in that regard. So, on to the next ride. Tuesday. It's a, it's a horse cow. It's even got a little goatee as well. Whoa. What a mad cow. Horse. Jeez. That was bumpy. So bumpy. Ooh, the fly just hit me in the face as well. That's it, I've rage quit Zwift. Um, two dropouts in two races, DNF both. I'm gonna take a week off. I'm just gonna just gonna ride out on the road this week. Probably get 24 hours in. Maybe. I think I've got 22 hours planned, but I might do a bit more on the weekend. So we'll see. Stay tuned. 24 hours actually seems like quite a long time when you think about it. That's like a day of the week. But I haven't really done any more than, I think 16 is the max I've done in my maintaining training or fitness phase. I did a couple of weeks ago, it was about 10, 11 hours, 13 hours a couple of times. But 24, pushing the boat out. But that, like 18, 21 hours was my standard, standard kind of week in the winter. Um, some, depending on how it fell, 
because some days I did three, I do three days on, one day off. So some weeks I'd have one rest day, some weeks I'd have two rest days. So some weeks would be slightly longer than others, but they were fairly similar. Anyone else get really sleepy after they've had their lunch? I might need a power nap. Got I did three efforts having to guess my power because obviously my power meter died. As always, I would be Zwift racing. I would live stream it. BT's coming tomorrow. There are other probably better providers of internet out there. So maybe I'll be able to live stream next week with some super fast broadband. But I will not cross my fingers because I can't see it happen. Anyway, if you made it this far, there's only one thing left for you to do. Congratulations for getting this far anyway. But please, can you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. 134 subscribers when this video came out. I want to get that, that, that number up. So help me out. <laughs> anyway, ciao.